Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG, NGM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. So check this out, man. You know, I've been watching basketball. You know, basketball, basketball and boxing is my two favorite sports, right? And I was watching the finals, you know, and I was just thinking about, like, you know, an interesting topic. I think it's, it's a topic that doesn't really be much, but it is interesting and intriguing, man. You know, who would be the finals MVP for the Boston Celtics if the finals ended today? You know, they're two games in. They have a two-game lead against the Dallas Mavericks, you know what I'm saying? And, then, you know, we're going to break it down game by game, man. In game one, there's only only two games have transpired, but it's still interesting, you know, because, of course, a lot of people think, oh, it's Jason Tatum's team. You know, he's the best player. Is he, though? You know, Jalen Brown got the most money, but we fully anticipate when it's time to re-up on that contract, and Jason, Jason Tatum will get broken off, you know, as he does you know, and, uh, and um, you know, but right now in this moment, you know, J- Jason Tatum has really been too much of a presence. You know, see, he hasn't been as impactful as people would have thought, but he's still there. You know, what I'm saying and I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, reiterate that throughout the course of this video. So, game one. You know, of course, man, if you were watching that game, man, you would know, you know, by, 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 without a doubt that that was indeed Christos Porzingis game, man. The unicorn came out and looked like a unicorn. He looked like he was, he would, every, every time he touched the ball, it was just magical. Every time he hit a shot, it was just so deflating for the Mavericks and, 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 and so, and so, and reinvigorated and reinvigorated and, and for, 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 for the, uh, for the Celtics, you know what I'm saying? It was just such a massive impact. Every shot was just like a dagger. History! You know what I'm saying? It's just explosive in the arena. And plus, because he, as, as rightfully so, you know, he's been missing a substantial amount of games. He came back and he was super effective. You know what I'm saying? He was so effective to the point where he had uh, 20 points. And I say, our, our, our great our great shooting, you know, he has six boards and I believe three blocks. So he, he, was, he was there defensively as well. But this is where it came in. You know, he had the game, but Jalen Brown had the moment. Jalen Brown came through and crossed over Luka. They dunked on Kyrie and was it Gafford? Yeah, Gafford at the same time, you know. For the playoffs, what a season he's had. Brown goes inside. Oh, what a slam. I'm surprised that highlight wasn't around. Let me close these blinds so it's not, so the shine, the, the glare isn't as bad. But yeah, man, I'm surprised that wasn't talked about more, man. That was crazy. It's definitely the highlight play of the game, you know. Uh, but but like I said, Chris Dobbs, you can't look at the box score because if you look at the box score, you would say Jalen Brown had the better game. You know, Jalen Brown had 22 points. Chris Dobbs had 20. They both had six rebounds and they both had uh, 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 three blocks, you know. And uh, But in addition to that, my bad, I was looking at my dogs right there. You see? Get my bandit. But, but it, oh, shoot. <laughs> But in, in, in addition, my, my camera fell. In addition to that, you know, Jalen Brown also contributed three three steals, you know, and, 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 and two assists. So they had almost identical games, but Jalen Brown had a little bit better game. But this is why you can't just look at the box score, right? You have to watch the game. Because if you watch that game, you know that Chris Dobbs Porzingis, that was his game. That was his moment. You know what I'm saying? That was his time to shine. But Jalen Brown, you know, can't forget about him. He earned his check that day, you know. And, that, and, and then also, too, uh, not to mention the steals that he had. Though some of the, he, though some of those steals were very impactful and significant because he stole it from Luka, Luka Doncic in the open court. We all know how how tough a, 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 a cover Luka Doncic is. Now let's go to game two. So game game two, we have Christoph Porzingis. Definitely his game. He shot. I would say he's the MVP of the game. Jalen Brown a close second. All right. So this game two now comes around. Drew Holiday. He has shown that, man, he probably was the best acquisition. You know what I'm saying? The best trade. All the best. Sorry. The best pickup. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 of any team, you know, he came and did what he's supposed to do, a defensive stopper, but not only that, he also scored the most points with 26 in game two, man, on the Celtics, you know what I'm saying, that was amazing, now Tatum, he didn't shoot well at all, I believe he had 18 points, uh, but his, his shooting was poor, he only had 27, he only shot 27% from the field, uh, uh, but uh, he, had, he had he had some moments too, and he had 12, he contributed 12 assists with only three turnovers, so he didn't disappear, he wasn't insignificant, but once again, you know, you expect him to play the role, maybe drop 40 or whatever it is, and that, that might happen you know but what's even more impressive is that he doesn't have to do that and neither did Jay LeBron and they still won that's a fact ain't it ain't it I did while, while, while Drew Holiday did have 26 points he also shot 78% shooting from the field you know what I'm saying damn I'm sorry and, and not not to, not to mention his, his plus his defense you know how he contributes on the defensive side of the ball and now with that being said you know Jalen Brown had 18 points I mean sorry Jason Taylor had 18 points but Jalen Brown had 21 yeah it was still a little bit more than Jason Tatum, and he did it with a better shooting percentage. He was in the 50, 50 percentile. So, yeah, so Jalen Brown, once again, it may not have been his game, but he was definitely number two, you know, as far as 
most impactful goals. So while these, like I said at the beginning of the video, these stats mean nothing because what's most, most important is that you win. But what I think this is indicative of, and this is why it's intriguing, is because no one person has to beat you. No two people have to beat you. The third best person of, of the four doesn't have to beat you. The fourth best offensive person could beat you. And you know what I'm saying? Who I think is Drew Holiday. You could argue Derek White up there too. You know, it's just like, man, there, there's it's more indicative of how complete their team is. And that's what's so impressive is that their team is so complete that they can beat you from any uh, both sides of the ball, offense and defense. And you don't know what player is going to gonna do it. You know, Derek Wright can still go off. Al Horford can still go off. Chris Stocks can go off. Jason Tatum and, and Jalen Brown still haven't really went off to their capabilities yet. You know what I'm saying? And, and they're still doing great. And then not to mention Jalen Brown, man, his, his defense, you know, is, is, is phenomenal, especially, you know, with the controversial block that him and Derek White had on P.J. Washington, right? It was controversial. Jones with the rejection. Here's Irving. Washington drives. Blocked by White! Uh, some people say it was a foul. Some people say it wasn't. And then, of course, you know, he once again, Jalen Brown also contributed three steals again. His defense is superb. So, like, well, that, with, with that being said, you know, I think Christoph Porzingis was the number one player in the game one. I think Drew Holiday was the game, uh, 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 number one player in the game two. But Jalen Brown was the number two player in both those games. And, you know, that's why he gets paid the most. He earns that money. So, in my opinion, right now, if, the, if it ended right now, somehow, some way, I would say Jalen Brown is the MVP of the Boston Celtics. I, I, I think it's pretty... Uh, I don't think there's any way to, room to question that. You know what I'm saying? But we have more games to play. I'm hoping this series goes seven games because I want to see more basketball. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. You have Jalen Brown. You have Drew Holiday. You have Chris Porzingis. I, like I said, I think the most important part of this conversation is that this, this 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 team is so dynamic and so complete that it doesn't matter who shines. They can still win as long as they keep their egos in check and keep that team chemistry going. They got this, man. But we are going back to Dallas, so we shall see. Remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we are nothing. Y'all be easy. We out. The doctor's out. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.